barbell hip thrust. Danny's going to demonstrate how to correctly perform the barbell hip thrust. So, Olympic style bar is always best. The plates we're going to use, the bumper plates. And Danny's got a bit of covering there, a bit of buffering, a bit of rubber, or a tally, whichever you like, across the hips so it makes it more comfortable. Now as Danny finds her foot position, and she's going to lean back onto the bench, it doesn't move. She adjusts her shoulder position so she's comfortable and she feels supported. And now we're going to begin the movement itself. As Danny drives up, there's a nice 90 degree angle there. As she drives up, she drives her knees out slightly. Of course, once again, the abduction, the external rotation, and of course, as you're doing this, this is hip extension. Now, as Danny brings the bar up high, she brings her chin closer to her chest. And that turns on the abdominals. This decreases the extension of the lumbar spine that may occur if your hip mobility is not great. Maximizing the glute involvement, bringing the chin to the chest as we come to the top of the movement. The greatest loading here is at the top of the movement. That's what we're looking for in the hip thrust. We're hitting the position at the top, the knee is bent, decreases the hamstring involvement, maximizes the hip core extension, maximizes the glutes involvement in the hip extension. So this is a perfect example of how to perform the hip thruster with a barbell.